hello all and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video we are going to be seeing how we can annotate the text data using docano so docano is an open source tool for text annotation so it can be used for text classification sequential labeling and sequence to sequence task and you can also label it for sentiment analysis name entity recognition text summarization and so on so these are the major tasks which are generally done in NLP. So we can use this Docano tool to annotate the text data for these kind of tasks. So let's see how we can do this by using Docano. So first we need to install the Docano in our system. So this is the GitHub page of Docano. So here's the link or I will provide in the link in the description. So you can go over there and just look at this GitHub repo. It's an awesome repo by Docano and you can just check it out. So here are the, the things how this Docano will work. So you can even go in here in this link and you can try the demo. So this is how the demo will look like. So you can see that it's they are setting name entity recognition, sentiment analysis, text classification. So such kind of things they provide and this is the interface of Docano. So we'll look into that like how it uh, it looks like and how we can do the uh, text annotations on some of the examples and this is how we're going to be installing it so there are three ways to install uh it's pip and stalker and docker compose so pip is now experimental as of now so we're not going to be using it and it has some kind of errors while installing so most preferred way is by using docker so this is uh, these are the steps over here and we're going to be following these steps to install the docker in our system so let's walk through it so for installing a docker into our system first we need to go to this uh, docker for desktop and here's the link so if you're using windows so you can use this uh, uh, link which i'll put in the description and you can go over it and just download the docker desktop for windows and after downloading that docker for desktop you will get a installer uh, installer kind of thing so this is a docker the desktop installer for uh, docker installation so as you run this so you're gonna be uh, seeing a simple uh, run command and you just have to walk through the next next and just do the installation as a normal installation and once the installation of docker desktop is done you're gonna be seeing this kind of icon present in your system so once this is installed and now the next step is to just go through this uh, docano and just walk through the uh, walk through the, all these steps which are present in here so for for running these kind of commands you have to first go into the cmd and run as administration so these steps are only be, being performed when uh, the solution of docker is done so after installation of docker is done you have to go to the cmd uh, uh, command and uh, and you have to run it as administrator and just go through it and it will take time to, yeah so it has launched now so now the next step is so you have to just say this uh, so the next step is you have to just copy these things these all commands present over here and start pasting it over here so by these commands you're gonna pulling the image of tokeno from docker hub and and you have to use this admins set up this admin and username password and uh, id for just for uh, getting into the uh, user interface which i will let you know like how why we are using this admin password so it's a kind of thing for getting into the image of tokeno and once uh, the installation is done so this is the one time installation so once the installation is done you have to just run this command uh, docker container start tokeno uh, once you run this command so you can go to, to the link uh, which is localhost and uh, we can see the interface working so let's run this command so it's docker container start tokeno uh, i guess i missed that spelling so once you run it it will take few seconds to uh, get it printed so you can see that you know the docker is running on your system so to access this, so since Doc, uh, Docano is in uh, web uh, web API, so it's using a web uh, interface 
to annotate the data so you have to go to the uh, local host on your browser local host host add this link uh, which is 8000 so let's run it over here and it will be visible in few seconds so so this is the interface of uh, the cano you can see so after this interface you have to just click on this login and as i told you over here the password and admin whatever you have provided over here you have to you have to give the same username and password over here to log in into this uh, web interface so we have given a uh, username admin and password is password so i will just log in into this so this is the interface of docano so i haven't shown you the proper installation of uh, docano because it would take uh, like one hour to install it because the installation of docker and docker setup takes a lot of time so i have skipped that uh, installation part uh, and i have just guided you through the steps like how you can install the tokeno and how you can uh, download a docker files install the docker and then how you can access a tokeno so uh, this is how you should do it and this, after following these steps you should be seeing this kind of interface of tokeno so now I, I hope everything is clear till now and now next move is to create a project so this is the project interface and this is the project uh, tab you can see over here so to create a new project you have to click on this create and let's suppose we are trying to do a ner annotation so we'll give the project name as ner and we'll write it as text annotation just for demo purpose we are writing the description you can mention it in detail as well and we are specifying the project type as text class we can provide text classification sequential labeling sequence to sequence so for now as we are doing the NER so we'll do the sequence labeling and now we'll save it so now our project has been created and now the next step is we have to look and in, look into the uh, these uh, side tabs so we will see we'll go through this each of this uh, once we upload the data set so this is the home you can see this is a home interface where uh, Docano explains about the process how to import the data set and how we can continue uh, doing the annotation part so these are generally the guidelines you can just go through it if i play this you can go through these videos and now the next is a data set where you're going to be importing your data set so here you have a import data set export data set so you can import and export the data set once it's got annotated and here the label tab you can go and create a labels or even if you have labels so you can also import the labels from text files or even after creating your labels you can export these labels as well and in this member tab you have uh, you can add any any number of me members so if you're working in a team so you want to collaborate like if you have uh, three to four people in your team and you you want that three to four people to work for you for this annotation so you can add those people in here by giving a name and giving assigning a role to them so this is how it, sh it is done and now you can add the comment as well and here are the guidelines tab so you can give any guidelines to be done for the project so suppose if it's an ner so you're giving the tag ner so uh, you're saying that uh, this is an ner project and it should be done in in following steps so you can give a few steps and provide some guidelines like one two three so so you can give a guidelines for any newcomers to annotate the data so they will follow this kind of guidelines so this is the awesome thing provided by the docano so you don't have to say you don't have to speak to anyone just send them this guidelines and they will start working on their own and next tab is statistics so you can just check the uh, statistics once the annotation is done so you can just view that how many numbers of uh, uh, labels are there for each and every uh, sentence and then it's a setting part so you can go and uh, set the project setting which we have done in the uh, while creating the uh, project so this is what uh, it is done and now we'll just uh, uh, try this things like how this is go in the flow so first we'll go to the data set tab and now we'll click on this action 
and will import the data set so once you click the import data set you, you have to upload a file so it should be on this format which should be text file text line json line or a con in it so these are the format which uh, this accepts as of now so i will click on this text line and i will import the text file so i have created this these files over here so i will show you once uh, once i once it get uploaded so let's go to that file which i have just uh, uploaded to the docano so this is the file so this is a file i have created by my own so i am just importing this file to work with the ner task so let's see how it can be done so as you can see the upload is complete so we'll ingest this data so once the ingestion is done we can go back to this data set and you can see all the lines which were present in the text file is here and you can start annotating it so you can click on this annotate and you can do the annotation part but before annotating you have to give the label right so for labels creation you have to go into the labels tab and click on action and click on create label so for labels i am going to be giving a person as first label and i will i will specify it as p p tag and i will give some random colors and i will save it then again i will create a label and i will specify it as location location and i will specify it as l and i will click it on some color and then click on save i will create one more label give it as miscellaneous give it as the key will be m and then i will give some color let's save it and i will create one more label which would which would be a designation and i will give uh, d as a key and i will give some random color to it and i will save it so these are the four ner tags which we're going to be using so we're going to be using these tags to enter our data set so this so we'll go to the data set again and let's annotate this so we're going to click on annotate and now we can annotate this uh, by using our uh, labels so how we can do this so we just have to click on this uh, name and just drag it like this and you can just specify the uh, the tag which you want to specify with this particular word so i'm going with this as miscellaneous and Similarly, you have to just click on this and just drag it and you can give this as person and you can give this work as miscellaneous and this as designation. And to go with the next sentence, you can click on this tab and you can continue in a similar way. So you can click on this Bangalore and just specify it as location and similarly for this live as miscellaneous and then for the next sentence you can go and just click on this and give it as miscellaneous so this is how it is done now the annotation of this particular sentence all the text has been done and after that you want to export this once the annotations are done you want to export and save it to the desktop so you can go to the rest, uh, data set again and get to the actions again and you can click on export data set so you can click on export data set and you can see that which format you want to uh, export it to so uh, it has only json uh, line which is present so we can click on this and this is how the uh, the data will be entered and will be saved in a file so let's just export it and it will take few seconds to save so we're going to be saving in desktop and it's a random name so let's let it be we'll save it and we're gonna be seeing the, and we're gonna viewing it like how it is annotated over here so let's extract it to the file and let's open this so this is the file which you had saved so we'll open it through the notepad plus plus and this is how the annotation is looking so you can see the data is uh, let me zoom in so yeah you can see the data is my name is current Deep Singh and I work as a data scientist and 
this is the label it has uh, created for us so so this these points are nothing but the character length like from which character to which character this and this particular tag is present so this is how the annotation is done for this single line and then for the other line and then for the other line so this is how the annotation is done and how this is uh, exported and saved as in json file so this is how you can do the annotation for rest of the uh, task which it generally accepts so i have shown it for any other and for the next project if you want to do it for text classification you can click on this tab projects you can go to the tab again so you can see that we have done with the NER now we want to do the text classification you can go to the create button and write the name as text classification and you can provide uh, some like sentiment classification you can do it and then your type is text classification and then we'll save it so this is how the process of new project will look like and now we again go to the uh, labels and we'll create the labels so for sentiment classification we have positive sentiment so we'll specify the key as uh, positive and uh, we'll give the key as p and we'll save it some color then again create label negative sentiment then we'll give the key as n and do it and give some colors save it we'll give a new label and we'll save it as uh, neutral so we'll give a key as n and then we'll give some color okay the n is already specified so we'll give it as some four and save it so this is how the annotation will look like now we'll import a data set so we go to the data set and we'll import a data set for uh, text classification now here you can see the upload format has been little change so you can now even upload a csv file fast text file json file j json l file text line so i'm going to be using a text line format and just drop the file over here so i have created this sentiment text file we'll just import this over here and we'll ingest it and once the ingestion is done we can go to the data set again and you can see this data is present over here now you can start annotating so once you see this interface so you can click on this particular line like what kind of this line is so i i see that this project is awesome so it's a positive sentiment now you can go to the next line you can see that this is i hate this project so uh this is negative sentiment so i'll click on this negative and then next uh, never buy this project so it's a negative sentiment again so we can go to the next uh, sentence and this is the mm, i am using this product since last year so it's kind of neutral so we can click on this neutral and this is this is how fast it is so this is the completion of the annotation of text classification so once this annotation is done now you can export it to a uh, file so we can go to the data set and click on this action and export and you can export it to different formats which are present here, here so i will prefer json l and this is how the uh, the export file will look like so you can export it again and you can save it so once the exportation is done you can go to this and you can open this file and let's just open it in the notepad plus plus and you can see the annotation so you can see this this is data and this is the label sentiment positive this is the data and this is sentiment negative so this is how the uh, the data is annotated using docano and uh, after this annotation is done you can export this file for your for the training of the models uh, which you want to do it so i have done that kind of video as well in my channel so you can go and visit or i will provide the link in the description even the i button so you can go and refer how you can train uh, the model using NER and uh, sent for sentiment classification or text classification. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. You have liked the content. So please uh, keep supporting this channel. Thank you.